Hello everybody, today in front of me I have Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus and in this video I would like to share the top 5 pro tips and features for this device. So to begin with I'm going to demonstrate that you can set up the fingerprint recognition screen lock method. So launch settings, enter the lock screen category, then open the screen lock type page, uh, well tap at the fingerprints, continue, then choose what screen lock method you would like to use as your backup. I'll go with pattern, then set the pattern that I'm going to use. In here, tap the register button and stop registering your fingerprint. Just follow the instructions at the screen. As you can see, this little circle moves around a little to ensure that you will scan the entire surface of your fingerprint. Sometimes uh, you need to like moisturize muster your finger in order for the scan to go through. So make sure not to have the dry ones, the dry fingers. Already here it is. We have successfully edited uh, the fingerprint. Now let's go ahead and test it out. Great success. The next option for today, you can find it the display category of settings. It is called the motion smoothness. Uh, in here, there are two values to choose from. You can either uh, set your motion smoothness, thus the screen refresh rate to always be at 60 Hertz, which will uh, provide you with a longer battery life or set it to be adaptive and uh, allow the system to increase the screen refresh rate or motion smoothness up to 120 Hertz, which will provide you with smoother animations and visual experience. If you are not certain, just look at this little preview animations over here and see the difference and then well, take a decision. The next option uh, you can find at the uh, lock screen category of settings. It is called the always on display. In order to turn it on, just tap the switch, then choose uh, how do you want it to be shown, either when you tap it, be always visible, show within the set schedule, or show each time you receive uh, a new notification. I'll just set it to be always on, <laughs> since that's the always on display. Then you can uh, customize the clock style, you can uh, set any custom image as you want for as your always on display background. You can upload some from your gallery actually if you want to. You can change the color of the text that will be uh, displayed at the AOD. Then you can uh, decide whether you would like for the inf music information to be shown, what screen orientation your AOD will have, and well, adjust its brightness or set it to be automatic. Now let's see how, uh, I mean, what kind of result we've gotten results with, and here we have it. Already, the fourth feature for today it is going to be uh, the sound related one. So, uh, in case you would like to improve the sound quality uh, that you have, I mean, the quality doesn't necessarily have to be bad, but if you are ready to make it even better, just enter the sounds and vibration category, go for the sound quality and effects, and in here, make sure to turn on the Dolby Atmos switch. That's the very cool feature or option that enhances the sound quality. Well, a lot, significantly, I would say. You can also switch this on for gaming as well. It has a separate toggle. And finally, fifth and final tip for today. It is a memory related one. So go into battery and device care category of settings, then open the memory page. In here, you'll find the ROM plus feature. What this feature effectively does is that it increases the uh, random access memory that you have by allocating this uh, respective amount from the internal storage. So basically it kinda creates a virtual RAM for you, which helps the actual hardware RAM that you have pre-installed inside your phone, like literally inside it, and help it to deal with some uh, higher loads or when you have a lot of things going, going on simultaneously and uh, well, your RAM does not handle it the best. 
so basically just if you would like your phone to have better performance and you're ready to sacrifice two four six or eight gigabytes of your phone memory or internal storage respectively just turn this toggle and reboot the device and once our smartphone gets reloaded uh, well you'll get the additional amount of RAM already so that would be not only for the final tip but for this video in general so I would like to thank you for your attention and bye bye Thank you.